A confrontation between residents and leaders of West Houston communities and Mayor John Whitmire appears to have ended in a compromise. We're talking about the Shepherd Durham project. Victor Hakobo tells us more about it and another conflict that's brewing on that side of town. A months long stalemate over the Shepherd Durham project ended this week when Mayor John Whitmire announced a compromise to let the project move forward. That marked a victory for supporters of the project with Mayor Whitmire today defending his decision to pause and review the project first before letting it move ahead. I didn't come here to rubber stamp Sylvester Turner's programs. Some are better than others. I am being driven by data. And Mayor, I want to thank you for your deference to the data and the overwhelming neighborhood support for this project. And I know that your team worked extremely hard to get to that decision. The pause halted phase two of the project as Whitmire expressed concern about mobility of car traffic in the area. The compromise allows the project to keep federal funding and keep key aspects of the design, including wider sidewalks and bike lanes and improved drainage. But another conflict has come up in the Montrose area as Whitmire announced he will not renew the terms of four members on the Montrose TERS board. That followed discussions over the Whitmire administration's desire to review plans for projects along West Alabama and proposals to halt a new library in Montrose and instead use funds to renovate the existing Freed Library. District C Councilwoman Abby Kamen said there is worry about the impact on the community. We are not being spoken to or discussed um, in any way and able to provide input in this, especially when you're naming four new people that will now account for the majority of the Montrose TERS uh, is extremely concerning. I want some folks to serve on the TERS that listen to the residents, work with my administration, and make Montrose even greater than it is today. The mayor's new appointees for the Montrose TERS are set to be up for council approval in the coming weeks. At Houston City Hall, Victor Jacobo, KHOU 11 News.